All right, so. It's been a while since I did a stream, and I have been working a good bit on the game. Um, uh, the goal originally was to get an alpha done by the end of August. It did not happen. Uh, just things are way too crazy, way too hectic. Um, you know, between real life and just real stuff going on. Um, so, but I was working on it. It turns out the alpha that I want is a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, still a lot of stuff to put together in the game to really get it to where it needs to be. Um, and the other thing I've been, I've been actually getting back into playing some games. So I started playing Divinity Original Sin again, uh, which was probably a mistake, but it was also a good thing because it's a really awesome game. Uh, a lot of great classic features from a tactical RPG standpoint. A lot of fun, especially interacting with the, uh, the elements, um, you know, fire and oil and uh, water and you know, lightning, just, you know, blowing stuff up. So it really brings back a lot of the fun to uh, tactical RPGs. So it's been, it's been a good inspiration of kind of, you know, a goal to aspire to of, of how these games can be fun. Um, so I've enjoyed that, and also just kind of looking at it from a, a game developer standpoint of, you know, what works in the game as far as uh, interacting with, with the game system. Um, <clears throat> I will say the inventory is kind of annoying in it. Um, you know, moving items between characters, like the characters don't share gold. So like, if you're buying something from a, a, a merchant and you don't have enough gold in that character's inventory, then you switch to another character to get his gold, it cancels the transaction. So it's, things like that are kind of quirky and annoying. Um, and the quest system is also kind of annoying because it's, uh, you know, it's it's tough to really know when quests are complete. Uh, it kind of harkens back to the old days of um, all you get is a line of text for your, your quests and you kind of have to decipher that and there's not a lot of indication of whether you're making progress or not. So, that, I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for in this game. Um, the game system, at least. So, um, you know, pros and cons of that. Um, and I think the thing that I realized building RPGs is uh, game dev for a lot of type of genres is you can tell if it's fun early on. Um, you know, like a platformer. You can tell it's fun in, in day one if you're the movement of the character is nice and things like that. But RPG, you have to build so many systems, have so many things in place before you can even tell if it's fun. Because if you think about RPG, a lot of it is, is not kind of a visceral interaction with the video game system. It's, uh, it's, it's almost like, it's like work. So some of it's almost like doing, doing work, like inventory management, um, comparing stats, uh, you know, buying things from merchants, saying, you know, that a lot of that stuff's analogous to, to working in a spreadsheet or something like that, that you would do at a, at a job. So, and the fun of it is not, <clears throat> it kind of emerges from all those systems coming together and, and feeling your characters progress. So there's not real, there's not like a visceral component on the screen of, of gameplay you can tell it's fun. I mean, obviously it's fun when you fight a big boss and you win the fight or the fight's really close um, but again from a game developer standpoint that only comes out when you're uh, doing lots and lots of iterations and tuning way down the down the line in the gameplay uh, in, the, in the game development cycle so you don't know if that really fun sweet spot is there until ways off so that's I mean all that kind of stuff leads to um, can lead to burnout developing these kind of games as opposed to developing like a platformer or uh, a, a shooter or something like that where there's always that visceral gameplay component you can come back to and, and just really uh, you know iterate on and focus on and every time you test it you can incrementally see the fun improve where RPG when you're building it you might be hacking away on some, on some back end system you know that doesn't really change the gameplay. So, you know, coming to an alpha, you know, you feel like, oh, I've built all these systems, you know, checkbox marking the check, you know, I've built 
inventory, I've built uh, a battle system, I've built dialogue, so once all these pieces are in place, I will have the alpha, but no. The fact is, even if you have all those raw systems in place, you still have to do a lot of iteration and tuning to get them to play nicely together and, and the overall feel of the game to be there. So, all that to say is, this is some of the reasons why the, the alpha's not done yet, and uh, still working away, and still a lot of good, good stuff to work on. A lot of fun stuff, so... You know, once you take that big step back and you think about the big picture and say, oh man, I still have a ton of stuff to do, then you can zoom back in and focus and be like, you know what, a lot of stuff to do, I'm going to take away the, uh, my, my, my time limit, you know, my, and go back to just focusing on, on the individual piece of, of the entire system. So, anyway, that's kind of a, a, a big picture view of where I am with the game, my thoughts on the game, um, as far as the development cycle, things like that. So I still think there are a number of systems that need to be built, so uh, multiple characters um, is one. Um, I mean, I can pull up the, uh, the actual task list here, things that are actually important. So I've been using Asana as kind of a um, task list. So multiple characters. Uh, one thing I thought was would be cool was having a console. So a lot of games you can pull up a console by hitting like the tilde key and you can enter in commands. So this would be really useful for, for testing. I mean obviously this is not second in priority but this just is on there. Saving and loading is important. Um, you know right now the game is so shallow that you can do it on in five seconds and, and experience all the, uh, the gameplay but obviously once you get bigger and bigger and Further along, saving load is important. Um, and, you know, down, this is actually content and stuff, but there's still a lot of pieces that, and then this is just the list of bugs that we're getting into. Um, so there's still a lot of stuff to do. <clears throat> but today I'm going to focus on multiple characters in the party, because that's like a pretty key piece, and, you know, you don't want to polish stuff too far if you're going to have to rip it out. That's, that's another part of my philosophy is... Um, you know, focus on the item that has the, the biggest priority first and, and get it 80% done. You know, don't get it 100% done because it might need to change, but get 80% of the highest priority item and then move on to the next thing. So at this point, multiple characters in the party are pretty important. So let's do a quick demo um, and then we'll get in, right into working. So let me pull this up here.